Online meetings and streamed events are a mainstay in business operations and events these days. Dynamics 365 Marketing's event management components actually has integration with Microsoft Teams out of the box, allowing you to set up your settings for those events directly in the event record, manage everything you need to from here, and even invite people to join with a unique link. I want to show you a little bit about how that works. Today, we're going to use our internal D365 customer service training. This is just an internal training we're gonna do here at our company, and we wanna invite a number of people, but we wanna stream this event as a Teams meeting, and we're going to, as I said, give them a link to join that meeting directly from the platform. So as you can see, we've got our event started, and on the right-hand side, I'm gonna click, do you want to stream this event? I'm gonna to toggle that to yes. And a second after I do that, we now have a little window that's opened up that give us a little more detail and, and ability to select our provider. The out-of-the-box integration with Teams gives you the ability to do Teams meetings, Teams webinars, and Teams live events. Important to note, if I didn't have the correct Microsoft 365 license enabling access to these tools, I actually wouldn't see this option here at all. But because I do, I've got the ability to pick any one of these three. You'll notice other at the bottom of the list, you do have the capability to integrate with a third-party provider. There is some information that you need to understand about that, and we've provided links in the description on how to integrate that. You do have to do a little bit of background legwork to set up a new provider in a couple of different areas to make sure that they are on the list. For today's purposes, we want to stick with the Microsoft stack, so we're going to stay with these Microsoft Teams options. I want to point out that depending on what you pick, you're actually going to get different choices. So in this case, we've got webinars, so I'll go ahead and leave it at that. And I have the ability to change the meeting options. And you can see here, this allows us to set some of those meeting details right from within the event record itself. Really handy, because now I don't have to go set the meeting here and then go to a third party location or go to a team's location and spin up the meeting and set all the things there. I've got the ability to control all that right from here, saving me all kinds of time in terms of back and forth between systems. Note that if I change this to Teams Live Events, I've got a different set of options because Live Events operate a little bit differently. And then if I change it to Teams Meeting, it's just the link. It's also given me the Teams Meeting owner, which is feeding just from the, the user account that I'm using here, which is our Ali Jameson account. So this gives me everything I need to get started. For the purposes of this training, all we need is a Teams meeting, and that's great. It's important to understand that confirmation messages for registrations do not automatically flow out of the system. You're going to need to set that up, and we talked about that in an earlier video. What you can do is set up a segment for everybody who's registered for this event and then attach that segment to a customer journey. You could likely create a flow as well to just grab the confirmation from the registration that came in and go ahead and send them a confirmation. But what's really handy about using the marketing emails functionality is that you can actually create that marketing email to go out that can include a unique link for that individual who registered. And what that means is it's actually going to give us an automatic check-in when they click that link and join the meeting. That's really handy because one of the things we want to do is keep all the data in one spot. And so if we can not only count who's registered, but also confirm whether they attended or not right inside of the the marketing platform. That saves us all kinds of time going back and forth and comparing lists. It's all going to be pushed into here. So really handy. So I want to show you how to do that. We're going to go over to the marketing emails area and we're going to start up an email that's going to be sent to invite them to this message and give them the joins link right inside of that email. Okay, we've got our email all structured and ready to go. Very simple email that we're just sending to our internal team once they register, and it's going to give them the link to that meeting. What we need to do now is embed this image with a link that points them directly to the correct meeting. So it's really straightforward to do. We're just going to click on this icon or this image. Now we could have put a button here, could put an image, we could put all kinds of things here, whatever you wanted. In this case, we want to use this image, and I'm going to set the link to to an attribute and it's going to be a join in teams option in this case we're dealing with an event it's just one event there's no multiple sessions inside of it if we did have multiple sessions we could actually identify which session it was and and point directly to one session inside of a broader event in this case we don't need to do that we're just going to do, go with event and that's going to now ask me for which event and we know it's our internal d365 customer service training so i'm going to go ahead and pick that so this has now created a unique link 
that individuals who have registered are going to get specific to their registration. As, I, as you can see in the bottom of the screen in a little purple bar, it's if you read through that URL, it's I know it's a lot, but uh, about 25% of the way through it says check in stream event registration ID. And so that section right there is where it's going to actually identify who is the contact that was registered for this. And what that's going to do is feed that information back so that when they click on that link, it's going to push that back into D365 marketing and say, yes, this individual has in fact checked into this event and they did attend. So really handy and really straightforward. If you saw, well, all we had to do was just point to that image. And again, we could have used a button or words or whatever we wanted and just point it to the correct event. And now they've got that unique ID. So that's just a little bit about some of the out of the box functionality with respect to how to create that marketing event and deal with some of the streaming capabilities. We've put links in the description of the video below pointing to some of the key Microsoft Docs and Microsoft Learn content that's relevant for this specific topic. Of course, if you have questions about anything you've seen here or anything in the Dynamics 365 or Microsoft 365 space, please reach out to C5 Insight. We would love to talk to you about that. We hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Thank you.